So let me explain what we're doing. We are doing our mic review from Turnstile Audio. And as you guys have heard from Ephes and Frank show, this is the mic that I normally use because I'm absolutely in love with it. Let me show you what it looks like. Hold on. Kind of looks like that. It's got little control knobs that let you balance between the sound of somebody talking on your PC and you. So like you can turn you up more than the PC or whatever. Uh, it's got a lot of controls on it. It's got an auxiliary input. It's got a, it's USB, which is totally cool. And it makes my voice sound amazing. So really quick, I just want to talk about this mic before I let uh, my friend Robert's going to be reviewing with me. Uh, he absolutely loves microphones. He's into that type of business and stuff. And he knows all that technology. So he wanted to join me on this video and I was all open to it. Okay, so this is the... This is the TAP 600 USB. TAP 600 USB. So uh, this is my buddy, Robert. Um, so I didn't want him to put the headphones on because I didn't want him to hear how good it sounds until he puts headphones on or how bad it sounds. Now, be honest. If you're not too keen on it, I won't be hurt if it's one I like and you don't like it, okay? All right. So go ahead and put your headphones on. Let's put these on, see what happens here. All right. Oh, that really does sound nice. Nice and crisp. I told you. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. I really like this one. You like that one? Nice, clean sound. Now, go ahead and move in a little bit closer. So come in a little closer here. and We're all getting yeah. this one today. Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's so cool. So would you rate that sounding wise? You'd be happy with that microphone? Oh, definitely. Yeah. That would be like kind of your go to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This would be great for streamers, for yeah. uh, podcasts. Mm -hmm. Heck, just people that want a nice, clean sound on like Discord for gaming or whatever. Yeah, I'm not a Discord fan, but anyway, <laughs> but it's all good because um, I know you do that, right? Oh yes, you do streaming Definitely. and podcasting and all that. So that's why I had you come over. I knew you'd be into this. All right, go ahead and talk. All right, so we're testing this new and improved camera microphone, camera mounted microphone. And it is literally, it's a shotgun mic that fits on the shoe of my kitchen cannon. So the camera I have in the kitchen, I just slide it onto the shoe. And this is the smaller of the two um, shotgun mics that they sent me. So we're testing it out right now. We'll go listen to it and we'll see how it is. So I've got the uh, other shotgun mic on my iPhone because we couldn't get it to work on our cannon in the kitchen. Um, the other one worked flawlessly, but this one would not. But then we plugged it into my iPhone and it's working great. And this is what it sounds like. So I'm not sure I'll be using this microphone. I think I'm going to be using the lavalier one, but I wanted you to hear what this one sounds like. This is the shotgun mic. Uh, the second one, the longer one that they sent me. Okay. And what is there a number on that? Hold on. It should be on the, on the, what is it? Oh, yeah, it's T-A-S-C 500. Task 500. That's a shotgun mic. Okay, this is interesting. So the next one we're looking at, he went for the big one. It's kind of a kind of like a radio mic. It's a USB microphone. It's the T-A-P 400 USB. This is the next one we're talking about. And what I found, I, I was playing with this before I went on. Now you can hear me straight through here, but listen to this. Check one, two, right? Sounds different. Sounds different than that. So you can't talk right into the top. You got to talk in front. It's, it's got a stand for that. So like you would talk close to this, okay? This one doesn't appeal to me. Not saying it doesn't sound good. It's just not as exciting as the 600 that I've used for the podcast. Okay, guys, so this is the broadcast mic. I've got it plugged into my sound card. This is the real deal. This is the kind that you would probably, you have to talk straight into the end. So we, we could do it here, but you can barely hear it. But if you talk here, it sounds really good. Okay, yeah, this is a keeper. This is a definite keeper. <laughs> I like this one. I probably won't use it as my go-to until I get my control arm that can hold a microphone right here or here or Right at my, because like when, when I was in radio, mine would just hang like this and I would talk into it. But this one has to be more like this. 
and that sounds way better. So let me get Robert in here to take a listen. Uh, I think he's going to be very impressed with this. Uh, I, I'm very excited. And from what I heard, it has a built-in pop screen inside. Oh, okay. There's a pop screen in this. So you buy one, you're just double pop screening it. But anyway, hang on. Let me get Robert here. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, what you guys didn't get to see is half an hour of, is this working? Is this the site? No, this is the site. No, this is not the site. Just, where, where do I talk? Do I talk? Where We struggle with this. Long story short, you're seeing the clipped version. You speak right here. And it's always fun with mics because you never know where you speak and they don't have a sticker talk here. Audio manufacturers. That is a great idea. Right yeah. There should be stickers. A little sticker. Hey, yeah. talk here. This is the spot. So you like but, it? Oh, yeah. This is a great mic. Yeah, that's that was broadcast oh, quality. Goodness. And once again, under $200. Under two, I just want you all to imagine me in the 80s in a dark room, big control board in front of me, a couple of turntables, CD players. This little mic right here is on. Of, of course, you know what? The if they room. imagine you in the 80s, they're not I'd alive yet. Yeah, they're not alive yet. They have, they're an itch of their daddy's pants. In the 80s, I'd have been an elementary school kid at best. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds really good. Oh, yes. I love this. Yeah. This takes me back a ways. I like it. Okay. I'm almost saying that that one is tied with the other one in my liking. See, now I feel like we should be doing this. No, stop it. So how do you feel about the... Well, when I threw the three-point buzzer beater, I don't know. I just felt that, that it was meant to be. I felt like Michael Jordan. <laughs> And you heard it here first, people. Um, All right, this is me. I'm sitting here recording this right now. Hello, how are y'all doing out there in the lovely YouTube land? Okay, this is the lavalier. The lavalier mic. What's the number? This is the, hello, upside down and backwards. All right, lavalier mic test. This is the TASL 500 lavalier microphone. This thing, I hope, sounds amazing since we've not tested it yet. We're going to find out in just a minute as I'm in the home of Jack. Okay, guys. So I've got to tell you my honest opinion. I'm still, my favorite's the podcast one that I use all the time. I have no idea. It's probably just a stupid little preference. The major broadcast one was amazing. The smaller USB broadcast one uh, kind of looked like a broadcast mic. Uh, that wasn't bad. That was good. I liked it. But the lavalier was amazing. The shot, the small shotgun was amazing. The longer shotgun, we had a little difficulty, had to test it on the phone. But all these products are really, really good. Do you, you know, these guys literally just launched their company on November 2nd. Literally. Yeah. Huh. I, I just found that out in the podcast that I was doing. So I highly recommend turnstile audio all their stuff is to die for it's a it'll make you sound good so i'll be using the lavalier on jack on the ghost um i'll be using the podcast one on podcasts i'll be using the broadcast one when i get my podcast studio which once tammy and i get our own property and we go find a place another place to live we'll be building our studio there and uh we'll be producing other podcasts also it'll be very exciting so we'll have all these mics Turnstile Audio, I can't thank you enough for being a sponsor of the show. Uh, I promise you, I'm not saying these things are great because of the sponsor. For example, the longer shotgun, I wasn't too keen on. We had a little bit of issues and we had to put on the iPhone to test it out. So I'm being totally honest with you. Uh, if you want to ask me any questions, ask me in the comments. Uh, I'm going to have Robert come in and say his final thoughts and then he'll say goodbye. And I love you guys. Let's find out what Robert thinks. Okay. So starting at the top with the broadcast mic, that was by far the best for if you're doing just sitting in a studio, interviewing people, doing podcasts, gaming, whatever you want, the all around mic, that'll work for in-house and studio type environment. I can't see that working real well outside, but it's not made for that. So why even talk about that? Uh, the next one going to, uh, it was all right. I would say that's a good, solid gaming microphone. Of uh, If you're streaming, doing something more in that style, I'm not sure on the price of these, so I can't really tell you where they fall in the spectrum of this. The last one of the studio mics, more of what I would call the recording mic, that one blew my mind. 
I didn't expect that quality out of it. I deal with a lot of other mics like uh, Elgato, just to drop some names here. I deal with those a lot. And I would say this is definitely on par with them for probably a fraction of the price. So we'll see how the pricing goes and compares. I'm told it's under 200. I haven't looked to see yet. Uh, moving on to the camera mounted mics. The first, the mini shotgun, that thing was phenomenal. Great sound quality as you could hear, amazing clarity. It was just all around awesome. Uh, the longer shotgun mic, we had some issues with the camera, but I'm pretty sure that was on our side, not the microphone side. Once we play with it a lot more and figure it out, I'm sure we'll work that out and be able to play with it more. Uh, as Jack said, he can mount it to his camera. Both of those just work great in that capacity. And lastly, the lavalier mic. This thing blew our minds, just to put it plain and simple. It was crisp. It was clear. An extremely long cable on it. I know it's not wireless, but you know, you get what you get. Uh, for the price on it, I cannot imagine really finding that much better out there right now with this economy and this market. So I would highly encourage you guys, go give these a try. Test them for yourself. Listen back through this. See what they sound like, how normal they sound. You pick for yourself. I don't think you can go wrong in this batch. Have a good one.